Previously on Echo. Not y'all goofy ass clouds getting bait card. Not too much on us. What, what's your name again? Short rib. Let's lay off the kid. There's a fluff piece about uh, the upcoming summit. What was your favorite song? Other people pay for my shit. <laughs> I support women's wrongs. I really do. Oh, we're we're not actually shopping. That was a bold-faced lie. We're, uh, Doc's gonna try and run a con and get some more money. And now, a word from today's sponsor. This show is proudly recorded on Zencaster. When we first started recording our podcast, we had a lot of options. We needed a platform that could record and generate separate tracks and videos with the full suite of professional tools at our disposal. Zencaster does everything for us, and it'll do more for you. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use our code BADDYBARDS and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience as I do for all my podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. BADDYBARDS presents Echo, a space hopping D&D actual play. Get comfortable and don't forget to subscribe and rate us. Now let's play some fucking D&D. So we return to Map is 66 on a shuttle from Bien at the edge of the jewel box cluster. Y'all have slowly but surely been working the crowd and have gotten a few questions about the event that you're leading people to go do down planet side. Miraculously, you seem to have avoided the dispersed peace officers for the meantime. And the shuttle from Bien doesn't take as long to get to map at 66 as you would think, considering how old the shuttle looks. But the journey takes only a short time, and before you know it, you're entering map at 66's atmosphere, bursting through the clouds into the purple, star-speckled sky. Just as your shuttle touches down in the hangar bay, you see another shuttle identical to this one take off into the twilight, heading toward Bien. The suns are setting in the northeast, and the people in your shuttle are looking at you with excitement, expecting to see something grand, thanks to the work you did persuading them. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? Oh, boy. Well, Doc has this sickening bob right now. Mm -hmm. And there's peace officers on board as well. Yes. Hmm. There's a lot of peace officers on board. And the plan was to do what again? I remember you were trying to turn into a velociraptor. Mm -hmm. The doc is supposed to be a Steve Irwin-esque figure mm -hmm. to like lead the tour or what have you. Um, I think pet is security. Security. Mm -hmm. And right. Shred is the security. assistant to the doctor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> top, flight. Flight. Mm -hmm. top flight top flight top flight security <laughs> so what exactly y'all's plan was when you got down here was entirely up to your discretion you find yourself <laughs> actually the shuttle is connected to one of the branches of a giant geodesic dome mm -hmm. um, the city itself is interconnected geodesic domes that have like trains running through them and like big tall structures like spires in the sky there are birds all over the place and flying beasts uh, that make these strange calls and calls as you sort of enter into this geodesic dome um, you see water, uh, trees and all of it's very perfect in its artificiality um you can tell this place was terraformed. Mm -hmm. So that's what the purpose of the domes is. Oh, I hate terraforming. Um, or when it's used to, you know, function up, I guess. Did I maybe roll survival to see like good places one could go to in this area? Just, just like just very chill places where we could, you know, fucking be like, ooh, ah, and then move on. I will say that is closer to a nature check ooh. than survival. Well, can I roll something to see if there's like a map around that I can sort of like sneak to the dock? 
you a map of what in specific? A map of map is so, 66? Yeah, so my thought is if I can sneak like if I can be the first person the first birdson to see um like a stack of like little map pamphlets i want to try to mm. grab them and just be like okay well here you go thanks for coming to our tour here's a map of the we work in partnership with map is 66 <laughs> mm. uh, i will mm-hmm. have you give me a perception check um and then a sleight of hand please okay Wow. Double 19s. That's crazy. Oh. So, perception, it's it was only a DC5 check. Yeah, there's maps all over the place here. This is functionally Map is 66 is a living natural history museum. Mm-hmm. Um and a lot of different planets like to come here. So there are like sandwich board or directory board maps. There are pamphlets all over the place. You see little autonomes walking around, cleaning things up, handing pamphlets out. And there are like further down in the in the, the dome itself. And there are like tables to the side that have like a stack of pamphlets on them where the autonomes are going to replenish their supply. And with a 19 sleight of hand, it's nothing for you to slip a feather over them and grab them for yourself. Uh, And you make your way back to the doctor without incident. Fuck yeah. So, yeah. um, (laughs) Sure. Has like, sort of kind of like flapping with one wing and has like the uh, the hand attached to the like the shoulder or the elbow joint kind of up mm-hmm. the other wing kind of with like as many uh as many um maps as they can hold and then also just like the rest of them under like their little talons and they like fly mm-hmm. over and they kind of like drop one into um drop one of the maps into the doc's hand and it's like I got you. I'm gonna go hang up, uh, pass these out, and then they start loudly just going. Thank you for coming to our. Thank you for coming to the tour. Here's a map. Please take a map and uh, remit payment to the doctor. We will be starting the tour momentarily. Everyone gather over. And then I look towards. <laughs> I look towards the doctor, and I kind of like make a face like. Ooh. So as you're shouting, what is everyone else doing as this is happening? Looking, or shit, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I do. I would still like to look for. Uh, to look around. Yeah. Uh, did go ahead and roll me a nature check, please. Um, I'll give you a bit I of the flora and fauna here. Yeah, you can do perception. Well, I, I do want to know about the flora and fauna. I have a minus one to nature, which sucks. <laughs> but Gotta I. Try. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's go. Come on. Okay, a 12. 12. So, with a 12, what you know is what most people know. You know that there are giant reptilian creatures that live here. And as a matter of fact, as you're looking out of the window of the dome, like the tunnel that y'all are in leading to Mm -hmm. the dome, you look out of that window you see them all around you some of them are walking some of them are flying some of them are swimming some of them are climbing and so they have all kinds of builds and come in all different shapes and sizes and colors some of them are covered in armor um studded armor that naturally studded armor spiked armor some of them have weapons attached to their tails um Some of them fly with leathery wings and make loud bird calls that echo even inside of the dome. Um, And what you see is that the fauna here is huge. And so is the flora. The trees are incredibly massive. They, They look unreal. If you've seen like an ancient sequoia tree or a redwood tree imagine that but like maybe 20 times as big it's huge these things are massive 
Um, some of them have like low hanging branches and leaves that sort of sway in the wind. Some of them stand up tall with branches that rise into the sky. Some of them have fruit coming down them. And you see some of these flying lizard creatures eating on the fruits, along with some of the big long necked creatures eating the fruits and the leaves at the very top of these trees. You see bushes and flowers all around the domes themselves. So yes, this place has been terraformed, but it's also been landscaped. Mm -hmm. And you see people outside of the domes who have on special suits that camouflage them into like the foliage doing yard work or garden work very, very quickly. They're very efficient. Um, You see water here or something that looks like water anyway um you know from looking through and looking like flicking through one of the pamphlets you also know that this water is not necessarily potable um but it's clear and it looks like it sustains the life here so there's no problems there um there are also small furry creatures all over the place very small skittering little rodent like creatures um some of them climbing up in the tree some of them have little furry flaps between their uh shoulders and their knees to keep them aloft as they sort of fly from place to place like a flying squirrel or something okay i couldn't really uh, gauge a place to kind of take them look around and then leave them I think so. Yeah, you could find a place. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you you can find a place through all of this. Um, you know, there are like exit doors. With that nature check, I'll give you this as well. The people that are doing all of the landscaping and everything here, they leave through special doors. Um, and they have like little uh cards with them that let them go in and out without a uh, problem. Hmm. Okay. Taking notes. Um. Okay. Is it possible to? Uh, I like. I want to whisper to. Um. Actually, do I have message? Let me see. I don't. This is probably probably the first character I've ever had where I do not have message. <laughs> <laughs> I can need that. Um. Well, you got I communicators, would... yeah. You do have communicators, yes. You do have communicators. Okay, I'm about to text niggas like, uh, if we can get a key card off of the cleaners that are in the camouflage, um, we'll be able to like access the, the special exits that they use and leave these fucking losers somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming message. Pat uh, looks at um, his his little little communicator and just sends like a smiley face <laughs> back and um i i want to check the other people who are in the the what's it called the little shuttle itself how many people are in here including um the peace um officers or the what yeah the peace officers <laughs> Yeah, because, like, are the peace officers just hitching a ride on this thing, or are they, like, protecting this group of people? The peace officers have come down here and begun to disperse into the the trains leading into the geodesic dome. Some of them are going out of the uh, special doors that the gardeners are going through. Um, but they haven't, they're not protecting this group of people in specific. They are just riding on the shuttle, same as everyone else. Uh, Okay. And you said how many people are in here? Yes. Um, you've been with them long enough to, to take a head count. I would say maybe about 50. Okay. And that's included the peace officer and just regular other people or just... Yes, the, the total number of like creatures that was inside of your car of the shuttle was mm-hmm. about 50. Okay. Noting that also, because I don't think um, why would I know how this um, shuttle is being um, like driven or controlled? Mm, 
Give me a history check, please. Uh, 15. 15. So it's being, like, driven or piloted, rather. Because functionally what it is, is it's like a train. Essentially, it has different cars. And the shuttle, like, pulls into Bien, the station at Bien, like a train does. And when it flies, it flies like, like a train would, I suppose. It just sort of... <laughs> it's like slithers a tra- its like, way through. It's kind of like a track, like jazz. a traction. But yeah, like a traction. Like you know, if it's like yeah, it's like it's, a back. And forth. It's closer to like maglev almost. Like the 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 actual mechanics of the train are closer to maglev than anything else. High speed train, but it also is outfitted with the ability to do in like space travel, uh, mm-hmm. short range space travel. And it's piloted by a crew of maybe four or five people. Um, There is a captain. There is, what is it, like a bosun? A bosun? Um, uh, Like a first mate. People who help the captain, assistant drivers and stuff like that. But the main, you can pilot it the same way you can any other ship. Mm. Right. Um. I think Pat is going to be on, this will be alert, on alert, and ready to do what the doctor is saying for the meantime. Okay. Right now, there's a lot of people on here, and making a big commotion maybe not the best thing right now to do. <laughs> right. Got you. And Dr. Bleak, what are you doing as this is all happening? I am giving just like the the general like uh, improvised like sort of like safety thing of like all right so when we touch down we're gonna be going into like the the geo dome we're gonna be seeing a, a couple of the sites down there some of the stuff that Mappa sixty six has to offer uh, and yeah just like keeping them keeping them hyped uh, trying to get people to pay like up front <laughs> essentially is what I'm doing just like yep okay so what we will do because all of y'all are still sort of trying to run this con and some of you are laying low some of you are doing uh uh like like reconnaissance and shit yeah 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 um i'm going to have a group deception check from all of you um and we'll take the highest two rolls okay all right wish me luck fucking <laughs> 21 <laughs> and you do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 18 with my lovely bard abilities. Hell yes. I got 16. Jesus, y'all rolled really well. Uh, so we got a 21 and an 18. With those, y'all are able to maintain this facade. You've got the, you've got it going, and you have these people's attention. Uh, the shuttle has come into the the station on Map is 66, um, and that's where you are seeing all of this. Are you are y'all like leading people off of the shuttle at this point? I'd say so. Yeah. Are we gonna go? Uh, are we gonna try to go before everyone? Or are we gonna wait until? You know what? I say I'm gonna say the pet's gonna come up to the dock. I know you're making your speech. No, no, I'm not gonna cover it to you. I'm going to send on my message thing to you and kind of on high priority. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Let's go last. So wait for everyone else to come off. So and then take our group afterwards. Just a small like thumbs up emoji like in the middle of my my little spiel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we all texting each other this? Yeah. Okay. This is in the group I, chat. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm like I was gonna get some maps to make it look legit. You definitely got those maps for sure. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Um. Good thinking. Okay. Then yeah. And then I I put um, eye emojis, but like way too many. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. Are we like leading the group out of this thing? Essentially, I'm 
I'm going to try and wait for, like, as many peace officers as possible to, yeah. like, go about their fucking business and leave us the hell alone. Uh, this you done before I start, like, leading my group out into, like, I guess just the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So these peace officers, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. They're not doing their job. They're loitering. Some of them are hanging around and like just enjoying the sights of the first geodesic dome. Um, some of them are talking to their their compatriots who are going up to the station at Bien to leave, um, to leave Mapis 66 as a whole. Um, some of them are talking to different passengers. Like the average person... Let me get anybody who would like to can roll a history check. Definitely want to do that. Damn, nat 20. Got a nat 20. We're gonna nat 20. We're going to need that later. I can feel it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what you know with these two nat 20s, that's incredible. The average person in the jewel box cluster is not cowed by the peace officers. There is a lot of uh, essentially copaganda out there that's saying that the peace officers are here for the good of the people, that they're keeping the streets safe. And so the average Joe just has no issue with the peace officers whatsoever. Um, You do know that there are political dissidents who do. Um, and they, you do know that they're having been on the inside of the carceral system in this, in this galaxy, you know, that there is some corruption that goes down in the peace officer class, as it were, there's a lot of corruption that goes down there. So the adversarial or antagonistic relationship that you might have with the peace officers is not the norm. That is the outlier, especially on Map is 66, which is a tourist planet for all intents and purposes. It's one of the reasons why the jewel box cluster is called the jewel box cluster. It's considered a jewel planet. So they they picked and choose the nicest planets to put together to make it into like a false sense of, oh, this is a nice place to live. <laughs> mm-hmm. The, the development on Map is 66 is directly funded by the, the government, basically. And the government puts a lot of money and time into making things look good. So that way they have puff pieces. I think um, <laughs> uh, I definitely uh, pets want to look towards Div and and just look at them. And I'm like, another place. Yeah, I think Div is just looking around in... They sigh. Um... It's beautiful, yeah, but like, <laughs> I don't for know. What, for what sake did this has to exactly. happen to get here? Like, at what cost? It, that's exactly what they're thinking. So they're like, what was here previously for this to have been made into what it is now? Into this fucking cash grab. Um, and it just, it just pisses them off again. I think they kind of huff a little bit and they, they roll their shoulders and they just, they turn away and they like look towards the window. Cause they're like, if I face these niggas, I'm going to snap. So let me just look away. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the peace officers sort of like strolling off of the shuttle in twos and threes. Uh, some of them are talking to the people on the, on the shuttle. Some of them are talking to like the, their captain or their lieutenant or what have you. And some of them are just, you know, shooting the shit and wandering through the the halls like the corridor. And now it's just y'all on the ship. I mean, on the shuttle. And you hear um, the sort of like intercom system on the shuttle indicating that the shuttle is about to leave and head back to Bien. All right. Uh, follow me, everyone. Do I do I get the money up front or like the credits like before the tour? Uh, yeah, you uh, you set the price, Doc. How much are how much are you charging for this tour? 
<laughs> How much was the one in the pamphlet? The one in the pamphlet was... 2,500 credits. 2,500 credits. And how many people do we have that, like, are in our, our group? At this point, uh, with everybody off of the shuttle and convening around you, I will say you have about 25 people. 25 They're going to pet a fucking people. velociraptor, so charge them good. How much is... So, uh, um, for this very, very up-close and personal tour, we're going to be charging 7,500 credits. Perfect. <laughs> 7,500 credits. Let me do some quick maths for the special surprise there's gonna be something fucking real there's gonna be something real cool there's mm-hmm. gonna be something real cool we just gotta we just gotta get a little bit further into the tour there's something that the regular tour is not gonna get you you guys lucked out meeting us yeah when I when we get further in I'm gonna have to dip off somewhere and um shape shift okay I'll check. so <laughs> y'all are y'all y'all are walking into the geodesic dome now yes 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 yes, yes okay yes. We're, we're so there are places time. uh for you div to sort of duck off into a corner um you see some of the gardeners coming in and out of one mm-hmm. of the special doors um and the corridor is huge it's it's wide enough for like i don't know a plane to fit through Mm-hmm. And so there are people in groups coming and going. The place is very busy, but your specific group of tourists is sticking with you. And Lovely. for you, uh, Dr. Bleak, you have taken 187,500 credits total from your tour group. Mm-hmm. So please go ahead and add that to your inventory. Can you say that again? How much? And like- 187,500. I, like, I will barely get the money before I send that four ways to everyone in the group. Okay. So, mm. come on, yeah. honesty. We're so, everybody get- can add 46,875 credits to their inventory. Ooh, good luck, Doc. <laughs> so, y'all are almost 50,000 credits richer. And you have this group of tourists here. Um, what would you like to do? Um, let's see. Can I just start like walking them into the woods and like making up shit about the, the general flora and fauna around the area? Um, are you taking one of the special key cards to get in and out of the Ooh. special door or are you just leaving? Is there any way I could do a slight of hand? I can help Am I able to access like the wildlife if I just leave or do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can access the wildlife if you leave, uh, but okay. the door will lock behind you to get back into the dome, which will get you back into the shuttle to get to be. Can okay. I definitely want to steal a fucking key card off these niggas then. Can okay. I, would it be noticeable if I turned off the um like the key card scanner would that be something that would trigger anything oh my god you're welcome to try it and find out okay. <laughs> what? Uh, Alex uh, also uh, uh, uh-huh. also um who has the highest slide of hand right now probably short That's not I sure. have a plus three to it and a plus three to stealth. Then what are, What about you, Sharib? I have plus four. Plus four, and then... I also have a plus three. We can probably I'm also get... proficient in those as well. We can probably get back in with a different con of like, oh, we like locked ourselves out and got like turned around type shit. Perhaps. <laughs> I feel like I don't want that to happen. I want to have the ability to come back in on our own. <laughs> Um, I'm just worried about like the trace of a stolen key card, essentially, potentially mm-hmm. getting back to us. Um, 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 okay, okay, okay. DM, mm-hmm. here's a question. Mm-hmm. I have a thing called remote access. Mm-hmm. Can I put it in chat or should I read it for oh, our yeah. dear view- viewer? I I forgot about that. Yeah, read it out for our viewer or our listeners. Okay. Um, So it is, uh, you can use any electronic device within range as if it were in your hands. This is not a telekinesis effect. 
Rather, this spell, spell allows you to simulate a device's mechanical functions electronically. You are able to access only functions that a person using the device manually will be able to access. You can use remote access with one, only one device at a time. So what you trying to do, big dog? I just, I just want to get back in. I just want to make it so that we never have to worry about a key card. Give me a, a quick perception check. Okay. Whopping plus one, baby. Fifteen. Hmm. Uh, y'all got, y'all gotta do believe it. in y'all rolls. Y'all gotta re- believe. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are doing well. I don't know. <laughs> so, gotta believe. Okay. With a fifteen perception. You notice that there are people who are using key cards. That that is one of the quick access ways to get in. But there is a backup. There's a like a, a keypad that has various symbols on it. And you notice that uh, people can, some people are leaving using the keypad as well as the key card scanner. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as far as using remote access, theoretically... You could, and that would work. Okay. I would like to go invisible for my one time today and mm-hmm. sneak up as you close get a, to You get them two a day. Well, yeah. One of my, one of my two, what are my two times a day? Um, gotcha. And uh, try to get as close to someone putting in the, the code as I possibly can to try to remember it. Cool. Go ahead and give me a stealth check with advantage, please. Okay. Not 20, baby. <laughs> Let me in. What the hell is going on today? What y'all listen, rolling? Listen, listen, 11, listen, got listen, nothing. Listen. Smooth, smooth. 50,000 credits, later. smooth. Let me in. So, yeah, you uh, you happen across uh, one of the gardeners who's in their camouflage suit, sort of like running out for their shift. And they like start patting their pockets and like patting their outfit, looking for a key card. And you hear them go, fuck. And then they like quickly tap in the key card, the key code. And you remember all five digits and they rush out of the out of the door. OK, I fucking. As I am flying back because of the incredible uh, range, the 120 feet foot range on uh, remote access, I just want to be flying back and open the key, the, the door. Fuck yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And then I mm. fly past them to the door and I'm like, it's open. I will <laughs> lead my wonderful tour group uh, into... The geodome, geodisphere. Ge- <laughs> well, are you going? Okay, so the geodesic dome, you can go into like just without having to open the door. The door leads to the wilderness outside. Is that where you're trying mm-hmm. to go? Yep, wilderness, wilderness. Bet. Okay, so y'all head out into the wilds <laughs> of Mapis sixty six oh with these twenty five. <laughs> Enthralled the tourists. Like lost these. All. <laughs> so, um, tasty Apple, morsels. You're gonna be the first one out. Um, who is going to be kind of like the follow up? I think I want Pet to be the last person out. Um, where is Pet definitely else? cover the rear, make sure we don't get any laggers behind us. Yeah, uh, I will. <laughs> Mm. I, feel like if <laughs> I think I'm gonna be, be in front of Pet, so that way I can dip off and yeah. wild shape, flip off and yeah. do a raptor thing. Exactly. And then where are you, Short Rib? Isn't, just isn't Short Rib like one of my uh, my little assistants? Yeah, that'd be perfect because yeah. they got the access to come back and in in and out. Yep. <laughs> I've already I've already gone inside because I haven't. I, I'm still invisible. Um, oh, okay. And, and oh, just, yeah. just so that, like, it looks like the door was always open, like we always had mm-hmm. access. I will shepherd the crowd. Okay. Okay. And then I, I am nervous what are you about checking, coming Alex? Uh, back invisible because I don't want to be eight, but I'll be okay. What are you checking yeah. at? What are you checking, GM? 
What are you looking at? Nothing. And smiling about now. Okay. Oh my fucking god. I don't know what you mean. Dear viewer, our GM is smiling, which cannot be good. <laughs> It's fine. We're unkillable. Moving on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> speak for yourself, nigga. Right. I'm leading them just into the wilderness and just like you know, leading them into the wilderness, just like talking about like random ass plants, like straight bullshit. I'll try and get like try and do like the like talking about the fruits and stuff like that. Trying to give them like fine like edible ones Ooh. and shit like that. Ooh. Uh, uh. Wow. You, know that you can see happen. as it's you're, incredible. yeah, you you oh. see as you're like leading people through, um, you see the people immediately start raising their communicators, taking photos. Um, people are like going, ooh and ah, look at that, that's crazy. Like looking at all the flora and fauna around the geodesic dome. Uh, you also notice that a couple of the gardeners have noticed you guys walking out of the out of the door. They don't say anything, but some of them give you a couple of strange looks. Um, and yeah, you're leading these people off the beaten path, literally. <laughs> Where, is there any place in particular you're looking to go? I'm just giving Div time to do some Velociraptor stuffs, and I'll text to the group, like, does anyone have minor illusion? <laughs> Can I dip off now to, like, change into a Velociraptor behind a bush yeah, or something? Yeah, definitely. Let's do uh, a stealth check. Uh, and I'll say with advantage, because the doc has them all pretty enthralled right now. Love that. Um, a nat 20? Y'all with these nat 20s. Y'all with these nat 20s. Oh my God. Y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill. Use different dice, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Today's so the day. Yeah, you, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah, y'all, de- y'all definitely dip off. Um, You definitely dip off into uh, a hidden little alcove and wild shape into a velociraptor. Um, what is What does your velociraptor look like? Hmm. Well, you know, they're they're pretty small dinosaurs and they have like a little small arms in the front. I think um Div's Velociraptor has a helmet on, as all do their forms. <laughs> because that's their head. <laughs> but I think in certain forms like the helmet maybe has like a way to open up to like reveal the teeth, because it's just I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Magic, y'all. And use your fucking imagination. But I want dinosaur teeth. Sharp as fucking little silver teeth lined in the mouth. Um, I think their tail is like bright green. And <laughs> like the body of the the Velociraptor is like this light blue. Um, and their claws are very, also like the usual green of their normal claws. And when I dip off, I kind of go change. Um, I think I'm gonna just kind of peek out, like like kind of run ahead of them a little bit, mm-hmm. like ahead of the group uh, in the trail, like they're going, and kind of mm-hmm. just try to see like when they're getting closer, and then I'll pop out then. Okay. So, Doc, as you are, as you are, just sort of leading these people through a wand, a winding, wandering sort of path. Every day uh, is the winding road. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, people are definitely taking pictures, and you hear one of the one of the younger people at the back go, "When are we looking at a dinosaur? I'm getting bored. There's no video games out here." Uh, well, this is actually a natural history museum, uh, little child. Sorry, what's your name? Beavis. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> well, well, little Beavis, um, this is a National History Museum. This actually takes place in a time before video games were invented, you see. Uh, we will be seeing a dinosaur very shortly. Uh, relatively relatively harmless ones, of course. Would you like to see a big scary dinosaur? Yeah! I wanted to eat your head! That, that, well, that, that might happen, honestly. Um, but yeah. Right now, you guys are on the basic package. Uh, that can get you relatively harmless dinosaurs, relatively small ones. If you'd like to upgrade, we can discuss that uh, a bit later in the tour. <laughs> you uh, see 
see Beavis immediately turn to their parent and start yanking at their robes and going, hey, pay for the upgraded package. I want to see an angry dinosaur. <laughs> and the parent I'm is just brilliant. like, yeah. Will you hush, kid? Like, this parent looks so put upon. I know they're and You can see them, like, on their communicator. Like, they look harried. They look tired. <laughs> They've got, like, a child on their back. And you've got Beavis being Beavis. Um, and bunny. as you sort of lead these people down this winding path, you can sort of all head into an area there's like a copse of trees um very big trees but there's a copse of trees there and you see one of these giant reptilian creatures stomping around now if you want to be very quiet all right they have very sensitive hearing and if you alert them um they think it can get rather, rather good so this what is it what does it look like the, um... uh this is a large it it has like a body of a giant elephant, like a mammoth almost, but it has a head that's on a very long neck. And so the bottom of it is what you're seeing. And you see it sort of making its way th past this copse of trees, reaching at its head for a different tree much further away. Can I roll a nature check to see if Mosea knows anything about this this dinosaur uh, this reptilian creature please do cool, cool. oh yeah and fuck it nine. they're dinosaurs a nine uh, yeah Woo! so this one is uh actually called encyclopedosaurus um <laughs> they are known for their very long necks that were revolved evolutionarily when they got really into strangulation uh <laughs> in in terms of <laughs> <laughs> in terms of a mating ritual uh now this, these ones largely can i like, see it like eating can i see it like eating leaves yeah you can see it eating leaves yeah now, this one is herbivorous but um <laughs> if they are provoked which they, they can be if they are surprised by say you know a bunch of us random little buggers uh, all around the place uh they they can uh turn rather defensive so again try and be as quiet as possible but uh, yes this is this is the, the encyclopedia source <laughs> persuasion check with advantage please <laughs> it's like naming a dinosaur dewey decimal listen that's the next one that's a 24 persuasion jesus oh. h christ oh. no. <laughs> So it's yeah, they, your group falls for this hook, line, and fucking sinker. And Div, you can see them actually getting a little bit closer to you. Um, so y'all are going to converge in just a moment. Um, as this is happening, Pet and Short Rib, what are you two up to? I'm... Well, oh, go ahead. <laughs> um, well, I think uh, Short Rib probably... Um, has fallen back some um, and is probably going through the pamphlet to sort of like get a bead on not like he'd have words for it but like is trying to like sort of get a read on like what is in the area since we do have some kind of a map even though it's like cut out for like the actual tour um, so mm. it's kind of like pretending to be able to read a map and trying to do that to the best of his little ability. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, looking around for the fattest fucking wallet, you know? Uh, uh, insight check, please. And I'll say with advantage because you have uh, Dr. Mosea really spinning a yarn up there. Insight. Yeah. So of the Bye. six that you saw when you first got on the shuttle, of the six fat cats you saw on the shuttle, the, there is one very close to you. Now, this is the most boring amalgamation of human beings you've ever seen in your life. These are the stereotypical 
fat, like belly, big head, uh, floppy arms, sort of plasmoid with uh, like a really shitty mustache and a bald patch that, that's like the size of the moon itself. And he's got like a halo of hair here. Um, he doesn't have eyes, but he's got like uh, like a fanny pack sort of situation that's just resting on the inside of his gel. Uh, and you see he looks over at a very tall and very thin, like they look like a linguine noodle um, plasmoid that has like uh, purple gel and like a little feather in the top and like a long sort of swoop that you believe to be their approximation of hair. So, and they're like holding pods together. So they're, you know, they're together, this 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 boring little plasmoid couple. Um, and the, the tall plasmoid has, uh, she has a little fanny pack situation with her too. And you can hear them sort of speaking in their language. Um, and like talking about the tour, presumably. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come out of invisibility and sort of like hover nearby, but like not directly by their heads and sort mm-hmm. of be like, Hi. Mm. You see the the shorter the shorter rounder plasmoid looks up and goes, "Hey there, what are you doing up there? Hanging out? Did you hear about the tour? Yeah, I'm enjoying this tour. How are you liking it? It's well, I'm a part of it, but." Did you know that if you, there's an upgrade where you can see uh, even more dangerous or dinosaurs? Dangerous or dinosaurs? Well, what do you think about that, Myrtle? And you see the tall <laughs> plasmoid looks down and goes, well, that sounds just fine, Jerry. These people do not value their lives. <laughs> Myrtle the Myrtle, Myrtle, oh my God. Miss Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle like has like adjust the feather in her plasmoid like gel hair and she goes well that sounds just fine what sort of dinosaurs are we looking at this time well it's a it's a herb herbivore is and uh a, a, another big old asaurus and they're so big you should come see them (laughs) and you see Myrtle sort of like bend down and like jab Jerry in the belly and go pay the boy Jerry pay the boy and Jerry goes yeah well give me one minute here and like reaches his pod into his gel and pulls out the fanny pack and it like gives up, comes out with like this squelching noise and it's like covered in slime and he unzips it and holds out like like he like holds out the the pouch to you and goes how much did you say that upgrade was there champ ah uh- 10k credits flat per person. It's real dangerous though. No, sorry. 20, 100, 100, 100k. Oh my god. This fucking thing. Persuasion check. And it will just be flat. Wow. I'm so cute though. Does you that are. mean nothing? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately. How's a 14 looking? What's a 14 doing for you? Jer- oh, Jerry, Jerry leans up to you and says, Listen, kid, this is only our third date. Are you <laughs> sure that it's got to be 100K? Mm. Honestly, I think, and you cannot tell my mom I said this. 
I think you've got a shot if you get the bigger package. Jerry looks at you and he Mm. goes very serious and he says, you really think I got a chance, kid? She's a she's a tall drink of water, this Myrtle. Mm-hmm. Miss Myrtle. Short <laughs> oh, him looks up at Miss Myrtle. She and, bagging that nigga tonight. Help Miss Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> and looks back at Jerry. <laughs> and is like, I think, I think you've really got a shot. She seems like she's really into you. You know what? How about this? And short rib flies up to Myrtle and is like Hi, I heard your name was Myrtle. Yeah, that's me, darling. What's your name? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you do you like Jerry? <laughs> <gasps> and you see Miss Myrtle goes full pink and starts yeah! fanning at herself. <laughs> and she goes, I like them round, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Short rib, short rib smiles and nods, f- eyes fully glazed over, not understanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I won't, I won't tell him. I won't tell him. Hot ass kid breath in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> and flash back down to Jerry. Flashbacks. And it's like, I think you got, I think you got, <laughs> I think you got a ch- I really think you got a chance. <laughs> Jerry doesn't even hesitate, takes the fanny pack and says, if you really think I've got a shot, kid, here. And he hands you the fanny pack. And inside is 250,000 credits. It's Work. worth of gold. Worth. Uh, fucking short rib, fucking adjust the little the little slider thing on the belt and takes a, a little long with it because he's got like his, <laughs> his hands are unfortunately placed and so he's like kind of like eh, eh, thank you one moment please eh, eh, and just sort of goes at that for a while and then puts the like snaps it on around his little chest now he's got a fanny pack on <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two hundred fifty thousand credits. <laughs> <laughs> a little Gucci fanny pack. Oh, uh, <laughs> it is a Gucci fanny pack. It's it's uh, it's actual Gucci. G O O C H I. Gucci. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that's a very unfortunate spelling. That's a great <laughs> fucking spelling. Uh, uh, um, no, but yeah, so fucking uh Shorb's got the thing on and is like and just basically uh follows in the doc's footsteps, like leads them off, was like, shh, follow me, and leads them off to literally where they already were. Uh and is like, look. While I was I- like looking from the bush, did I see that interaction? Yes. <laughs> Great. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely. Because you gonna, guys are close enough now. I, I'm gonna make sure short rib like ha, has earned that for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got you. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So Would yeah, now be a good just, time to fucking jump out? I mean, are they close enough? Yeah, I'll jump out. Yeah, they're close I wanna, enough. I, I'm gonna jump out. Um. Velociraptors are rather small. And also, I just learned that they're, they have feathers, which I did not know. No shit. Most, yeah. most dinosaurs have feathers, actually. We didn't really? know that. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, these ain't those. Okay. <laughs> these are Jurassic Park <laughs> dinosaurs. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, cool. But, but um, yeah, I want to fucking jump out and give my best RAR XD. <laughs> in Mr. Jerry's <laughs> face <laughs> or actually like not not in his face but kind of like near like I want to like look intimidating and kind of prowl towards the group like you know toss my claws like as if I'm gonna fucking pounce on them or whatever um <laughs> yeah I, I'm so, gonna give it a okay. real thing. I'm gonna have you give me two roles uh mm-hmm. give me intimidation first and then performance okay Dun, dun, dun. Any advantages because they're a bunch of rich people who went hiking out in the middle of the fucking woods? 
I will yeah, say right? that short rib convincing Myrtle and Jerry that this is going to be a dangerous animal gives you advantage on both checks. Love that. Thank you. Okay, I so I was a 19 on the first one uh, and an 11. So I'll take that 19. Mm-hmm. And performance. Let's see. That was my intimidation. Um, ooh, my performance was an 11. <laughs> Damn. Here's how this plays out. So you come charging through this bush, making this huge fuss, and you've got this mechanical roar that just bellows through the crowd and silences everybody. Everybody gets on hush mouth. Suddenly it's crickets in this bitch. And just as you're running over, there's a root from one of the trees sticking up and it catches your foot and you face plant. Mm. Mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Everybody, everybody behind me. Everybody behind me. Qu- quickly, quickly. <laughs> everybody moves. Everybody yep. is scared it's shitless. Not- they they start it's moving. It- now, I, unfortunately, um- because you all did uh, get the basic package, you are not entitled to protection when seeing such creatures. Um, <laughs> if anyone would like to upgrade now, um. <sighs> I won't move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can, I can take some uh, precautionary measures. Um, so the, the upgraded package was, and I'll just like look towards short river. Like, <laughs> 100,000 credits. Oh my 100, God. Um, Wait, what? Um, what? Everyone else get 100,000 credits. Everybody give me a perception check, please. Okay. I try to use my little claws to wipe my my snout or whatever <laughs> after fucking filling my face. That's a face. sixteen. Short, short rib. Your 19? perception check will be a disadvantage because you're on the ground. Ouch. Thirteen, eighteen, seventeen. 17 good. So you all see them. Oh hell. Oh the peace officers that you sort of ditched back on the inside of the geodesic dome have followed you out and slowly but surely been surrounding you. So now you are in a circle of at least 20 peace officers. And you see one in particular step forward. Uh, Who is it? Do we recognize them? No, you do not. Did they step out behind Div or? They st- the peace officers have surrounded all of you. They okay. are stepping out from cl- the person that is talking to you. She's hmm. stepping out from closer to the dome. So she's Ooh. blocking your path back, basically. Okay. Cool. And she looks to you all and says, this is an unauthorized tour. Who are you and why are you extorting these people? Uh, Pardon me, you said unauthorized? Unauthorized, madam. Sorry, uh, hello, my name is, and I'll just say, what did we say last session? Uh, uh, Hold on, let me check my notes to see if I wrote it down. Florinda. Uh, Pets was Courtney, Viv was Vidact, Astros was Solar Act. Uh, again, I actually don't have Doc's fake name on here. I don't think Doc used a fake name. Uh, well, I don't think Doc I'm gave Steve, me I'm, a name. Yeah, I'm Stevie Irwin. Um, I'm <laughs> actually a- deception check <laughs> <laughs> with disadvantage. Ooh, wow. Okay. All right. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Ah, that's a, a nice little 18. Mm. Can I use. What the fuck do I have? You've got to beat a 21 one way or the other. I do have to beat a 21, don't I? Mm-hmm. Oh, this mm. is. Uh, this is bad. Do you have inspiration on your sheet? Do Did I you have inspiration? Yours? 
did I get inspiration at any point during the campaign? Yeah, uh, at the did. very beginning. Oh, everybody! Get, everybody use, started with inspiration. Then I will use that to have used the first twenty-five that I got instead of the eighteen. Mm. You got a twenty-five. Yeah. The captain looks to you and says. Ma'am, there is no record of this tour. I'm, are you new here? And either I'm, way, you are extorting these people. Their tours are not authorized to be outside of the domes, and they sure as hell do not cost a hundred thousand credits. And she looks at you, short rib. I stick my tongue out at her. <laughs> you see one of the peace officers lifts up their gun and points at you. I put my and tongue back in my fucking mouth, I guess. Yeah. Now, 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 now. There's no need to, to escalate. Peace officers, as all of these fine and very influential people know, are known for their de-escalation tactics, yes? The captain says, that's not what we're known for. We're known for keeping riffraff off the streets. And that is exactly what I plan to do with you. Do us and these fine people seem like riffraff? Now, I tell you, surely perhaps you may have had a mistake in your records on your end of things. I understand that bureaucracy can be a bit, let's say, uh, disorganized once enough human elements get placed in. Although these are some of the finest, most attentive and most intelligent people that I have ever met. And if you are accusing them of not being able to recognize a simple scam, then please, by all means be my guest, but I believe that Persuasion everyone... Persuasion check disadvantage. Disadvantage! <laughs> 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 She's talking your shit, though! She's talking your shit! You're talking your shit, oh, nigga! Oh, you talking your shit, nigga! Oh, can I, can I cast an yeah. ability on myself? <laughs> what, is the, what is the wording of enhance ability? Is it, it's touch on a willing creature, correct? You touch a willing creature and bestow upon it magical enhancement, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you can. Cool, so I'll just roll this regular and give myself, what is it? Uh, Eagle Splendor. Yes. What does Eagle Splendor do? Get advantage on charisma checks. Uh, advantage on right? charisma checks. Mm-hmm. So, just a three yes, roll. In this case, I will make it a straight roll because of that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's a 26 persuasion. Yes. Let's go. The captain looks to you and looks over at the peace officers near her, then looks to you again and says, the people aren't the problem. Your prices are. And regardless of what these people may think of us, be your tour authorized or not, these prices are incorrect. And that is a crime. The prices. However, <laughs> right? if you are willing to give these fine people that you are relying on so heavily right now their money, I am willing to take your name and let you off with a warning. So long as you go back into the dome where you belong and go on an authorized tour, should you be interested. DM. That mm -hmm. Do not admit that this is a fucking unauthorized tour. Do not um, give her that fucking, sorry. Um, <laughs> is there a way, is that dinosaur still above us? The dinosaur has sort of moved off at this point. They were reaching for a tree. Um, okay. Are there other dinosaurs? But they haven't gotten too, too far. Is, uh, can I do a perception, perception check? Could, yeah, can I do a perception check? Uh-huh. Uh, can I, can I, I, I want to fucking roar out and call my niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we got niggas <laughs> With a 20, you see a couple of the flying beasts um, above you. Um, you see a couple of the furry ones, but you don't see like another big dinosaur. 
Um, you do see a couple of the flying ones, though. They're upper, uh, up higher in the trees. Okay. What you think, Entity? <laughs> Dinosaurs. Like, can, can I convince these dinosaurs to like help us fight or something? Do you have animal talking? I have animal handling. Like, I got a plus five to it, and I'm proficient in I it. Velociraptor. Um, all right, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm speaking their language right now. Rawr, yep. rawr. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess it would be really obvious if I pull out my gun. And yeah, no, I think Mosea will just kind of nod her head. While it is most understandable uh, that <laughs> the prices may seem unreasonable, I am more than willing to lower them. The business end of things is mostly handled by my manager. I, again, mostly am in it for the, the passion of nature, and so I'm sure that once we return to the dome, as you have requested, that he can have this all sorted out in whatever court system that that uh, that he does, but no, this seems much more than agreeable, and uh, we shall happily re- return uh, to the dome. Would you like to lead the way? After you. Wonderful. And I will try my damnedest mm-hmm. to lead everyone towards some kind of big ass dinosaur if i can <laughs> yeah, yeah. yes let's like yeah take this bitch up a notch uh can i try to convince these other can i convince my skin folk to fight with me brother Yo, skin. <laughs> 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 in my moment of Not us unionizing the dinosaurs. Yes. Do they only yes. know, uh, oh DM, do they only Come know on. that is um, the three of us? They, right do they only know now. the three of us? No, they know you They know, know me and probably Short Rib. They probably don't know about the Velociraptor and... Or Pet. pet. Yeah, or Pet. They have, no, they have all of you surrounded. They've been they following have the whole- you since you left, and that includes Dave. Damn. Oh shit. Okay, so mm-hmm. Pet has it, it Pet has done anything suspicious yet, have they? No, I haven't really. Pet might, Pet, Pet's just been walking. Pet's just been chilling. No, but Pet was announced as like the bodyguard though of the group. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. two are also. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. You all know, right. I, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's walk, let's walk like... back. <laughs> So, so how do we, I, I, can I call these? How do you, do you think I should call the dinosaurs y'all? What do y'all think? You can, they are dinosaurs. The, if, if it's not Sorry, clear. I've been calling them dinosaurs. Dinosaur <laughs> planet. I wanted to play with dinosaurs, so we're playing with dinosaurs. Okay. So, um, this, uh, you can try and convince them. They don't speak a language because mm-hmm. they're dinosaurs kind of know vibes Mm -hmm. but you are welcome to try and use animal handling or something like that um to see if you can get them on your side i'll whistle you dr inspire div or yeah okay so i will have you give me a survival check as well as a deception check okay survival sorry did you say you give me a bardic Yep, Bardic. Mm-hmm. Bless, thank you. Let me mark that on my skibbity whoop whip. Fuck. This is going to be so fun, you guys. You said 20 cops. <laughs> Do I maybe get advantage because I'm a 20. Velociraptor? Oh, great and gracious D. You look so cute. <laughs> I'll say yes. Um... You You're a mechanical like velociraptor, but functionally, like in the game, you would just be a velociraptor. Cool. <laughs> so that's a 12 on the survival. Mm-hmm. And then a 21 on the deception. Mm-hmm. It's a 16 for my animal sec. handling. A 16 oh, for your animal handling. And the bardic is a, what, is it a D8 or a D6? D6. D6? Okay, I'm gonna add a bardic to that. All right, I rolled a four on that bardic. Twenty. 
Not Nat. A 20, not Nat. You are able... You are able to get these dinosaurs, these flying dinosaurs, to come down and converse with you. And you hear them go, Oh my God. I'm pointing out with my claws at this bitch, like, she trying to take her home. She over here trying to lock me up. Are y'all sick of this shit? That means people just want to go ape shit. Fuck this. <laughs> this is our shit. Why are we like standing for this? It's more of you and y'all are more powerful than these fuckers. Let's get it. Like, come on. And you see them fly up and take off towards this captain. And for some goddamn reason that worked. With a 12 on your nat and your nature check, you run back into that big encyclopediosaurus. Um, <laughs> you run into the encyclopediosaurus and uh, you see their big foot sort of trample down a small bush as they finally reach their destination, this very tall tree so that they can get the leaves at the very top. Um, with that 21 deception, that was really good. Did you say 21 or, wait, wait, wait. What did you say was your deception? 21. 21. 21. Uh -huh. The captain can tell that you are not heading back to the dome. And she knows that you don't know where you're going either. So after a point, she says, enough of this. And said, and begin the peace officers, you see them begin to siphon the people back towards the geodesic dome and you hear them radioing for backup. And she says, that's enough of this. Who are you really? It's time to get the fuck out. Div says in dinosaur. <laughs> it's time actually that. time for y'all to roll initiative. You uh, think you're so funny. Oh <laughs> Fine. Six goddamn team. <laughs> 20 baby I'm, 20 we love to see it uh, 19 it was going 19 so beautiful that's a free three. yep a good old fashioned and free. then and okay that's where we're gonna leave it for today oh we'll pick back up next week you you are a mean person. Is what <laughs> <laughs> you said ah, at yes. least 20? Yeah, at least 20. We're at Dunzo least. Gabonzo. We're smart cookies. Um, we know we? how the, this fucking shuttle works. Right? You got this. I just want our money. I want I our money. Want money. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we got to get out of the money. The money, somebody. okay. Go Sorry, ahead. go ahead. I said we also have somebody on standby. Yes, we do. Astra is up on gain, yes. Astra's keeping the engine running. Mm-hmm. That was a good call. I think Satine decided that that was a really fucking good call. Because mm -hmm. I was definitely going to be like, she should just come with us. But no, that was great. Oh, yeah. Thinking. Let me show you our friends here. Please do. There we go. Now That's it's a fine. party. Can take that. It's at least, well, th there's only eight here, but you know, there's yeah. a bunch of them. Three, four, six, seven, eight. And then there's and, um, oh, that's control. where we're going to leave it, guys. I am so excited to finally fight with y'all. This is going to be fun. Ooh. I can't okay. believe you want to hurt us so bad. I think that's really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Satine. If you enjoyed this episode, give us our roses by rating us five stars and writing a lovely review on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Want more Baddie Bards? Our social media details are in the description below. And remember, we are here. Bye!